Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel. This is Eggnog and we're here with another dogfight diagnostic. Um, today's video is going to be a little different. Um, mostly mostly in the fact that, uh, well, it just doesn't go that well. Um, but you know, there's things even in, in your failures and defeats that you can learn from. So it's still a pretty interesting fight. At the end of the day, I did bag a couple of planes, but there's certainly stuff that I could could have done better. And uh, and I'd actually love to hear from each of you uh, comments on, on what you think I could have done differently. Um, the context of this fight is I'm kind of scrambling in a Yak-7B, uh, getting off of uh, the runway here. Uh, I've, there's already a flight of IL-2s headed to a target that they're going to bomb. My objective is to primarily provide some high cover. I am taking uh, a, a pair of uh, light bombs to, to drop on the target as well, but as soon as I've got those off, I'm going to uh, get get as high as I can and try to provide uh, air superiority for the area and keep, them, keep uh, the IL-2s clear as they strike. And we'll, of course, see how that goes. Uh, pretty light cloud cover. Uh, very cold weather today, so I'll be able to close the radiators and, and get a little better speed out of the airframe. Um, uh, and and as as most of the most of the dogfight diagnostics have been, I'm on the Finnish multiplayer uh, server. Uh, so I think that's about it in terms of context setting. So let's go ahead and jump forward about 10 minutes in time uh, to where I reach the target area. Uh, swoop in and, and let my bombs go and and then uh, climb up to to acquire altitude and, and keep an eye on the, the situation so here I've spotted the target and I've announced to the IL-2s who are already uh, in the area that I'm gonna be coming down on the target and letting go of my bombs Now I chop my throttle here to, to keep from overspeeding. Pretty important when you're in a dive. If you get going too fast, um, your control surfaces can can compress and, and become ineffective. So you gotta you gotta watch your speed in a dive like this. But I'll put bombs away, and once I'm clean, then I'll be free to climb back up and get kind of a bird's eye view on the uh, target area, and hopefully hopefully be able to spot enemies before they uh, engage with the IL-2s or if the IL-2s become engaged I can zoom down and and hopefully provide some support now the IL-2 itself is not a terrible um, dogfighter much like a, a 110 uh, it's got pretty uh, hefty forward fight firing um, cannons that you can mount on the wings optionally and those will knock out a German fighter pretty easy but um, We'll focus on climbing up and trying to provide high cover for these boys. So I will jump forward in time again and we can actually start to uh, break down the dogfight and, and get into the action. Uh, that will be the focus of this diagnostic video. So I have now acquired pretty good altitude and I'm just watching. I'm just scanning for someone coming in high and listening to the comms. I have to say with trucks because they go like right through the. H, uh, six, six, Ouch! Six, six, six. Okay, I'm down. It's a 190. You got another guy coming. Yeah, there's Is another one. There's another one coming in. So at this yeah. moment, I've realized my mistake, and I'm I'm pretty yeah, upset. They just shot down my boys, Rudy. They came in a lot lower altitude than I was anticipating. So now I've got to try and rush down there and see see if I can offer them any help or if it's too late so I've picked out one that's looking like a, a 190 just by the square wing tips I've, I've ID'd him as German trying to get down and and saddle up behind him no, of course enemy territory. I got one I got one over top and they're just everywhere at this point. I've seen this one, two underneath me. So they're just all around me. Unfortunately, all different areas, so I'm really having a hard time 
understanding the battle space. I'm going left on the deck now. Oh, that was a friendly. I'm down two. Got one diving on me now. All right. There comes another flying past me, so we've got still more in the area. There's one there. I'm kind of eyeing him, but I'm really trying to get eyes on on the remaining aisle too. Now right here, I just zoomed in really quickly there. I finally spotted... Um, my teammate, the remaining IL-2 that's still uh, operational. Yeah, my, my options are like run for it and leave my guy. Um, I guess I guess bail or ditch to try and, you know, save my pilot and, you know, you always have the chance of, uh, you know, escaping and not being captured over enemy lines. Um, but you know what? Honestly, at this point, especially with the wingman to defend, I'm, I'm going to stick and fight and die with honor. Um, because you know why? Why not do maximum damage to, to the enemy, despite knowing that there's really no hope for me? So interestingly, here I've got eyes on three, so I can see my the other IL two down here, and then I've got two fighters coming up behind me um, here and here. Oh, the, okay. I got eyes on you. Oh, that was your that was your tail gunner shooting. There's two left. One's looking at me. I'm gonna try and take advantage of your tail gunner here. I have no tail gunner. That was me. <laughs> oh. Think of a different plan now. <laughs> All right, an IL-2 can fight, so I might ask you to help. It's a two v two right now. Yeah. I so plans have not been uh, coming together too well for me. I've still got two riding my six. I kind of evaded their first pass, but we're both in trouble. All I can think at this point is to try to find a way to get the IL-2 to help me uh, so that I'm not left fighting these guys alone. Uh, but it's really looking bleak. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm reaching for options, and, uh, and they're just slipping through my fingers. No, they're both on me. They're both on me. They don't care about you anymore. They both went high. Okay, one's rolling back on you now. Uh, okay. Break, break. Now right there, uh, uh, my my wingman's doing a good job of calling out uh, their their positions. He calls the break, and I just take his word for break, it. Break, break, break. Good break, good break. It's off. Yeah. Second one's rolling in from high now. Okay, I see you. I'm gonna try and work with you. Go for a head on with him. Yep. And he tries to help me out there. Let's see if I can get a good screenshot. He's he's stalling in his climb there. So there he tried to take some shots, but but all misses. And so this guy's coming in for another pass on me. You can see him kind of coming out of the sun there. But high aspect, he misses it. And that's really what I'm trying to do is just buy time and see if I can force an overshoot to where maybe, just maybe, I could pull Ouch. something off. But there's just too many of them. So I ate it again, and now, of course, I'm, I'm hit pretty hard. You see my wings just you might well shattered. Run. Maybe they'll forget about you. Now, honestly, there's just not much you can do when you're outnumbered like this. There was, uh, it turned out to be more than just the, the two that I was sort of aware of. And he's coming down again. Got it. Oh, let me see if I can freeze frame it. Yeah, there he is up there. Uh, just riding my high six. Uh, looks like JP's over here on on the left side of the screen, taking maybe even some ground fire there. Yeah, he just he just went down. So this guy's kind of hovering over top of me, trying to find a good shot. But there's there's just so many of them at this point, and I'm I'm damaged bad, which is hurting my maneuverability. Wow, there's a lot of them. Yeah, I think like four or five. Four, uh, yep. Okay, I'm kind of cautious in this, but my DB is going wild. Oh, 
prep the brakes. You got two diamond on you. I down to third. Brake hard, brake hard, brake hard. Uh. Yep, they're off. They're rolling back high now. All right, brake again, brake again. Oh. Yeah, that was tough. And that's game over for me. So that's the end of the dogfight. Sadly, I don't have any nice landing video for this one. You know, obviously I, I perished. But I went down in a blaze of glory, you know, guns blazing, f fighting, fighting to try and help my wingman out. And, and to be honest, take it down three uh, isn't bad, especially in, in such a um, kind of adverse environment. A lot of guys swarming around. Like I say, after I'd taken out two, there were at least four more in the area. Uh, what what was I supposed to do? But I'm I'm also sure that there are things I could have done better. I think especially in that sort of quiet period after my second kill, while I was trying to coordinate with the other IL two, probably could have done something to uh, improve my situation. Maybe co coordinate better with the IL two um, so that we could fight together instead of kind of getting separated like like we did. Uh, so curious to hear what what people's thoughts are. Should I have just run? Uh, a, a little hard to say, uh, but my mission was, you know, pretty much a failure after the first guy shot, got shot down. I did not succeed at providing high cover, um, which is just too bad. But um, anyway, interesting fight. Plenty, I'm sure, that I could learn and and uh, and some some kind of funny moments sprinkled throughout there and and and. And great, uh, great combat as well. So hopefully it was enjoyable. Hopefully you learned some things. Again, curious to, to hear your thoughts. And uh, um, otherwise, I think that's it for this diagnostic video. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.